This is KCTV English News. I'm Nick Brontis. Governor Wan Hee Dio has officially asked the national government to designate Jeju a quote unquote global blockchain special zone. Mr. Wan made the request Thursday morning during a Blue House governor's meeting with President Moon Jae in. He wants Seoul to create and follow international cryptocurrency norms and regulations in the proposed zone saying that would open up the way for related businesses here. Governor Wan also suggested the creation of a consultative group to devise cryptocurrency guidelines and regulations. Representatives from the Cheju Provincial Police Agency and the Cheju Municipal Police held a press conference Thursday morning at the provincial office and said the transfer of officers from the provincial to the municipal agency has improved public safety. They said the transfers have benefited the staffing and the equipment of community police stations. They maintained that the transfer of authority to the municipal police to prevent people from going missing and to prevent juvenile delinquency has made that work more efficient. 120 national police officers have been transferred to the municipal force in two phases. Next year, municipal police will take over responsibilities related to traffic and school violence. The provincial government has released details of how it will use the tourism promotion fund for the remainder of the year. It is making a total of 50 billion won in loans available. 10 billion is set aside for the construction of tourist facilities and amenities. Another 10 billion is for repairs and renovations of accommodations and tourism facilities. And the remaining 30 billion won is earmarked for stabilizing operating costs and replacing chartered buses. Borrowers will have three years to pay back loans to cover the costs of facility construction or renovation, as well as bus replacement, but the first payment won't be due until two years after the loan is received. For loans to help stabilize operating expenses, borrowers will also have three years to pay them back, but they'll have to make their first payment one year after receiving the funding. Loan applications are being accepted through September 7th. It will soon be mandatory for bicyclists to wear helmets, while anyone who rides a bike while drunk will soon face fines. Jeju City officials say a revision to the Road Traffic Act requires all bicyclists and their passengers to wear helmets beginning September 29th. Anyone who rides while intoxicated will be fined up to 200,000 won, there are no regulations on the books yet to penalize people who don't wear helmets. The city will run a pilot program to lend out helmets for free at 11 public bike rental stations. It's time again for Film Focus. Here's Mike Labman with what's new in local theaters. Um, just checking in because it looks like you already left It's 2018. You didn't think you were going to spend this weekend watching Top Gun in theaters, did you? Well, that's the world we live in. So in addition to some classic 80s action, what else is on the table? Searching, starring John Cho of Harold and Kumar fame, who over the past number of years has shed a bit of his Joker roots and tackled some serious dramatic roles. So let's turn up one of the most recognizable 80s soundtracks ever, and let me lead you on. Welcome to another edition of Film Focus. I'm Mike Laidman. On Thursday? Every day. All right, where are you? Study group, as you get back. Oh, one more thing. I want to know about the final youth. After David Kim's 16-year-old daughter goes missing, a local investigation is opened and a detective is assigned to the case. But 37 hours later and without a single lead, David That's decides really to search the one um, place no one has looked like yet and where all secrets are kept today, hey Margot, his daughter's again. laptop. Why did you leave your laptop. In a hyper-modern thriller told via the technological devices we use every day to communicate, David must trace his daughter's digital footprints before she disappears forever. Making a movie that relies so heavily on the technology we use every day is tough, as it can feel so dated in just a few years. But searching it ties its tech to a timely story and well-rounded characters brought to life by a talented cast. 
The uncomfortable but necessary truths it brings to light about online privacy are so relevant today. And as a whole, this is truly a fresh new take on the thriller genre. A new Top Gun, still starring Cruise, has begun filming. So it's not really all that outlandish to have the original back in theaters for a limited run. Devil May Care Navy pilot Pete Mitchell is sent to Miramar Naval Air Station for advanced training. Here he vies with Tom Kazansky for the coveted Top Gun Award. When not so occupied, Mitchell carries on a romance with civilian consultant Charlotte Blackwood. Shaken up by the death of a friend, Mitchell loses the Top Gun honor to Kasansky. Worried that he may have lost his nerve, Mitchell is given a chance to redeem himself during a tense international crisis involving a crippled U.S. vessel and a flock of predatory enemy planes. Top Gun features some of the most memorable and expert aerial footage ever shot. But going in to see it again so many years later on the big screen does bring to light some of its faults. Namely, that it doesn't really offer much to chew on when the actors aren't in the air. But still, check this one out for nostalgia's sake. September is starting off wet. Most areas will get 30 to 80 millimeters of rain Saturday, but higher elevations could get more than 200. Here's your forecast. The morning low in Jeju City will be 25, in the afternoon high 28 degrees. Daytime temperatures in Sogibo will fall between 25 and 27. In Songsan, the low before lunch will be 24 and the high later on 27 degrees. Similar temperatures are expected across the island in Gosan. And the morning low up on the mountain at Songkhanat will be 21, and the afternoon high just 22 degrees. Out on the water, winds will be out of the south and southwest at 7 to 11 meters per second, and seas will be between 1 and 1.5 and meters. And here's a look ahead into next week. That brings us to the end of today's newscast. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you'll tune in next time. Until then, find us online at eng.kctvcheju.com. Shichang Jairubun, Kumapsumida.